Smaller, we played on Dunland and we've crashed the game. Let's see what we can do this time. Let's see what we can do. My strategy is not going to change at all. We're still going to do the exact same things as we normally do. But we need to be careful. Mordor's early game can be defined by where you start. And on this map, we're actually at a disadvantage because we don't have an early we don't have early access to an outpost unless we rush there, destroy several troll layers. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think we want to get a Kirifungal Barracks early and get that quest done and then one more. So yeah, I think I'm going to do the strategy we did last time. I'm going to get over here and I'm just going to build them up back here. And then once we get enough orcs, we're going to just feed them all these overseers. There are quite a few layers on the Gulf of Loon. Goblins are easy. The biggest strength of Mordor is their orcs are free. If you don't get free orcs, you are instantly crippling yourself because everything else in Mordor sucks in the beginning. We've built an arsenal and a tribute cart camp even because we are going to be going for a very slow start. On a map like this, we have a fortress. We have a lot of building room. And I don't know what I'm up against. Because I went for the Overseers. You could go for the Eye of Sauron. So you get early advantage upon whoever you're up against. But I don't know what I'm up against. And currently I'm going to keep it that way. Once they once they come here, I'll know. Now one other thing we need to build are the defense, ta the defense banners. This will increase the recruit speed of all uh, units from in the aura of the banner. For that case, we're going to build another orc camp right next to it. So now all our orcs from those two orc layers will be recruited twice as fast. Not tw not twice as fast, but 25% faster. Really fast. And I don't believe it is cumulative. We're against Angmar. Oh dear. You know what Angmar has? Large... AOE destructive spells that can absolutely annihilate hordes and hordes of orcs. So we we actually, without access to an early outpost, so we can get our more strong our stronger troops, we're actually at a major disadvantage. We are actually at a really big disadvantage. But we need to use that to our advantage somehow. And the best thing I can do is get a Nazgul, get the Necromancer, and hope he get, I get in tier 3 quick enough. We need to get... At, we're going to focus a lot on our reinforcement powers, I think. Our reinforcement powers and the power of past ages. Yeah, this game can be very, very, very slow. Because Angmar can just steamroll through Mordor. If we put our cards right, we will have the stronger late game. We just need to actually get to our late game. So, first things first, we need Dark Marshal or the Shadow Lord. I think the Dark Marshal is the one that gets the Mordor Blade sooner. So, I'm going to get the Shadow Lord. Dark Marshal, even. Start the Dark Marshal. That's one quest complete. But we need a hero killer. And I think our best hero killer is Gothmog. And a um, Morgul Blade. We need both of those things. We want to get the, um, the advantage. Luckily, we've got hordes and hordes of orcs. And those hordes are going to constantly be, keep expanding. Although we need to actually cancel that now so we can get pantries. Because of the amount of orcs we're making, we need to be building up the pantry. The pantry is the most important upgrade for Mordor. Because with the defensive banners and the two orc barracks we have, we're going to be spamming orcs almost endlessly. But if we're going to be doing that, we need to also have the ability to keep making more. And so, we need the pantries. Or expanded storerooms, whatever they're now called. 
and apologies in advance if my voice sounds a bit crooked. I am unfortunately dealing with a potential um, throat infection. I've had it for the last few days. Um, and just trying to get through that. Obviously, by the time this video is out, I'll probably be back to normal again. But for those watching live right now, that is why I'm being a bit under the weather. Once this next pantry is built, we're going to get the Dark Marshal. And the Necromancer is actually not essential for the early game. What is essential for the early game, however, is getting those Overseers quickly. We need ten, right? Six. So once we've built this one, once we get these next two Overseers, we need another two. And then we need enough Orcs to feed those Overseers into. I'm going to try and build a Kirifungal Barracks here. And with that Kirifungal Barracks, we are going to get one unit of Kirifungal um, Orokai. And with those Uruks, that will be another quest completed. So now with the, with the arrival of the Dark Marshal, that is one quest complete. Oh, and he doesn't get the... He doesn't get the... Uh, I think he gets the Screech. I didn't want the Screech. That's unfortunate. The plan here is, all our Orcs die instantly to Wargs, whether it be by charge or by bite. But if we clump up enough, they won't even bother charging us. We can just attack them for relatively high damage. And then kill them. Okay, we want to be focusing a lot down on the right, the left side of the Palantir. This game. What should we do? They're pikemen. And yeah, Felwind is another big problem. It chunks our health down quite uh, easily. Let's build a Kirifungal Barracks now while our units are surrounding the area. But our marshals go back. I built the wrong one. It's unfortunate. But it's something I was expecting. Once this Kirifungal Barracks is built, get the upgrade quick. That will give us Sauron level 3. And then we can start actually getting Sauron. Uh, we could actually do with the Kirifungal Archers. But I think just because it's Angmar and they can plague us, we can't really protect our units very well. So I'm just going to destroy this Wargler, take the money if I can. Nope. Overseers, stay. Keep making more. Okay, Kirifungo Barracks is done. Build some uh, Black Orcs. Black Orcs, whatever they're called. Black, the Black Orc Warriors of Kirifungo, yes. That'll get Sauron to level 3. And then once he's level 3, we can start doing some good stuff. But yeah, unfortunately, Orcs suck. So they're going to die to the spam of axe throwers, sadly. But we are making power points. We can soon get... Oh, they've got the Witch King. Yep, that's why I was hesitant to push out early. Because, yeah, they get the Witch King really early as Brutal Angmar. So, I need to be building towers now. I need to get Gothmog. If I don't get either of those two things, we are not going to kill off the Witch King. And if we kill off the Witch King, then they'll probably never get the Witch King back. Because the money they invested to get the Witch King... Yeah, focus the units. Focus down the enemy units. Distract the Witch King as much as possible. Yeah, look how quickly our numbers just fell. I even actually want to be getting a, another Battle Tower. But we'll get that once we actually have the, uh, the Necromancer. But yeah, this entire game could now rest upon the shoulders of can we kill the witch king if the answer is no then we lose if the answer is yes then we actually stand a chance of victory but that is the entire thing there the early game angmar has the witch king and if we're not prepared to deal with that we need the reinforcements of rune or alternatively we need terror of kirif ungol it all depends upon this next play. We're soon to get the we're soon to get the necromancer. He will instantly get to level three, which means we can get uh, the influence of Sauron ability. So we can 
use it on either one of our outpost buildings, one of our main stream buildings. I don't know, but I want to see how well these towers hold. We're, I'm expecting these two slave mills to fall very quickly. To no attack. And in fact, I'm actually eager to push out and try and kill off the Witch King before they come too close. Because they're going to make siege as well. And that's kind of why we also have the Nazgul to deal with that siege. If they get the siege to the base, that sits over. There's a lot of do or die things to worry about with Angmar as Mordor. Mordor just struggles against an early game enemy that can make an AoE hero. Another example of this would be Lothlorien with Galadriel. Galadriel is actually a really big problem when playing as a spam faction like Mordor. Just can't do anything about it. You just have to suck it up and deal with it. And getting more tribute camps will help me deal with it because I'll get more powers back more rapidly. And getting reinforcements from Rune could be the difference. Yeah, these battle towers, they're going to be our saving grace here. The longer the AI waits to actually attack us, the more time I can actually just keep building up. Maybe even make this into a Kirifungal barrack so we have access to more elite orcs. But right now, I have no reason to push out. I have no reason to push out. Uh, barracks, unlocks fire arrows, troll cave, unlocks troll armor, tribute camp, and onslaught, unlocks all tribute camp and onslaughts on the map by one rank each. Do that on the arsenal now, because I want to actually get rid of that. The arsenal improves the upgrades, or at least the cost of upgrades for your things. You don't get upgrades as Mordor. Or at least you shouldn't. Regularly, at least. Another good thing about um, Sauron is he actually does AoE damage in his main form. So if we can get one more level with Sauron, maybe from getting 20 units of orcs, or from leveling up a certain hero, then we can actually give um, the Dark Marshal his screech. And in fact, I'm going to pull back my orcs. I'm going to get my overseers and put them into my units. Line up. And yet we've got tier four now because we have. Oh no, it's just. Is it just have six? Oh, oh yeah, just have six, uh, six overseers. Then actually have to have them observing my troops. But they are now. And all we need to do is get uh, the Witch King, bait him into the base, and then just destroy. The reason why I want to build a battle tower is that it gives all my other battle towers fire arrows. Which... <coughs> oh, thanks, let's press... Um... Okay, I'll have a, uh, have a look at that uh, map pack, actually. That's a plague. Yep, and now all those orcs over there are going to die. That's what the play can do to me. Yep, no trying to pretend that these orcs are going to live anymore. They are all dead. What I can do, though, is get a another pantry. I'm going to build the battle tower into the play game. So I don't know if the play does damage to buildings. It shouldn't, but I don't want to take risks. Oh, no. Okay, the poison duration is a lot less. What I do actually want is a uh, level 7 Sauron, so I can use my for damned on these orcs. Just... Okay, the boys have played now before the Witch King showed up. That means now we can actually start pushing out again. We have got, we've got time now. Uh, keep you back, mate. Don't want you dying. Hold your command group 1. Let's put Sauron in command group now. Okay, the Dark Marshal is dead in uh, Command Group 2. They keep using Blight on my poor slot houses. Slate Mills, whatever they're called. <coughs> oh, Mordor, Mordor OP? Yeah, Mordor's fun. I don't technically put Fawn and OP in the same category because they're not. But in this case, yeah, Mordor is just Fawn and OP. Yeah, look at this. They're bringing up elite or uh, men now. Normal faction. I'd be scared about that because they do increase damage to all of our better troops. But we don't have better troops. We've just got trash. 
We've literally invested nothing into our better troops because why should we? was going to be coming with the Mordor slog. The Fortress have to deal with the uh, on again, off again lag. I'll try to not focus on the actual battle whenever it, there is lag, but no promises if something happens. Okay, we can now get reinforcements from Rune. And now because I start getting good troops. One good thing about uh, Mordor is, if you need to, you can actually go for a few pikes to deal with cavalry. But the thing is, with a large clump of, of units, cavalry can't charge through them all. There's very few cavalry that can charge through a large clump of units. There's near to no units that can charge through a large clump of units. And now we have some units from Rune. I need to know, there is a way of upgrading these. Oh, that's the fence banner, right. So I use the, if I use this, my influence on the actual banner here, it will give all my summons from Rune and Parad an extra bonus. It'll make them stronger. Oh. Okay, I'm going to take the Dark Marshal off his horse right now. He's not needed on his horse. If they were to plague me right now, I'd actually be grateful for it, because then I can make more troops again. Oh yeah, because we've got Gothmog, this building is now tier 2, so we could get banner carriers, but no, don't need them. What I do need, though, are more tribute camps, and eventually a battle tower. Sprout the Screech. That's a level 4 unit right there. Yeah, the Dark Marshal out fight. Change him to the command group, so I don't automatically select him by mistake. There's Witch King, we want to be falling back entirely now. Everyone fall back. I'm going to use Gothmog's ability to distract these Calm Doom Pikemen and hopefully kill them off. Yeah, try and surround the Witch King. We do decent damage, but the problem is we're, he's also leveling off through all the killing he's doing. So yeah, just running away is the best chance we have of surviving. I'm going to build the Battle Tower now, and then once the time comes, influence of Sauron and all the towers will be super strong. Yeah, level 1 ability from... Uh, Gothmog doesn't do much against elite units, unfortunately. That is just the state of affairs that this world is. Yeah, Monomarth, Witch King. They're coming into a base, mostly quite uh, protected by towers. With the influence of Sauron on a battle tower. Double number of odds in each tower. Okay, it's not, it's not as good as it used to be. It used to be five arrows, which used to be really good against a hero like um, the Witch King. No, the Witch King. Yeah, the Witch King. As they go in, I'm going to use this. All heroes on the burning ground will be rooted so they can't move. And look, the Witch King is just trying to run away. With the Witch King out of the picture, we can all charge back in again and kill off Mornomar. This unfortunately is just the state of affairs you need to do with the, against Angmar. It's not just Mordor I would do this with, but it is Mordor I would do this with more than any other faction. Because Mordor struggles with problematic factions that have large AOE abilities and uh, economy debilitating effects. Unfortunately, these Carnadoon Pikemen, if they're left alone too long, they're going to be a big problem. Throw down another explosion. Unfortunately, doesn't do anything against the Witch King, but that's fine. Didn't expect it to. I actually want Gothmog and the Dark Marshal on with the Witch King's ass, which, uh, which Gothmog's already jumped onto quite quickly. The Witch King, unfortunately, does next to no damage against heroes unless he's using his Mortal Blade, which is not a typical Mortal Blade. Yep, two heroes against the Witch King, he's going to die. He'll kill off an army, but he can't kill off a strong hero or two, especially when they're not actually men. Now that victory is ours. Now they've got Gulzar, so I'll be taking my heroes out of the fight because he can just target, single target them and kill them. It's where having Eastlings of Ruins is actually really good. I've got the double tower that I actually need this anymore. Because the infantry star on abilities, whatever building it's on, are permanent. What I do want though is a troll cage. 
But despite the fact we had to deal with that one unit of them, um, what, what's their names? Um, uh, Pagman. Having trolls are really good. They can be the difference between victory and defeat sometimes. Yeah, I'm gonna put the Dark Marshal on his horse. Have him ride down. No, I'm not, because there's Zaphragor there now. Zaphragor, if they, the AI was controlling them, is a problem. But since it's not, I have perfect faith that we can win. Change form, use a Russian. On the ground. Yeah, the enemy's army. It also knocks down your own unit, so be careful when using it. Can use our ability again. That was a catapult shot. So I got the Dark Marshal actually running around, finding that catapult and getting rid of it at all costs. So that reaches our base, that's a problem. Gothmog is trying to fight off against elite units and a Zapragor, so let's get him out of there before he kicks the bucket. Anyone tries to get into our base will die, there is no stopping that. But yeah, that catapult, even if it means the death of the Dark Marshal, I'm fine with that. Because that one catapult can destroy this entire base. If it has an army protecting it. Need to get the map of Sauron because that's another upgrade for Sauron. That is Durgmarf attacking the Dark Marshal right now, which is a problem, but catapult down, run away. Bridge can heal, the Dark Marshal can heal. There's three play down our army, so I've got to run back. I'm not spamming my orcs, actually doing that. I'm also going to start getting some trolls. Uh, we could get the Banners of Red Eye, but I want to save full reinforcements from Harad, or maybe even the, his belly of servants, so I can get more powerful units. Old Dog was in that mess, I actually want Old Dog dead. Keep my heroes back. With all these tribute camp camps, we should be getting back our powers relatively quickly. I'm actually going to get rid of the slave mill. We're not making use of the uh, slave mills very much with only one of them. I could use influence of sound, but fortunately there's just more important things to using influence of sound on at all times currently. Yep, now all the vaults. I'm just going to keep a constant 20 if I can. Build my cure fungal barracks. If nothing else, I get archers, which can be useful when peppering down some elite units. When there's a large horde of them. Because all Kirifungal units actually have no command point costs. They cost zilch in command points, which is actually really good for Mordor. It makes them actually essential units. Ghouls are back sniping. I'm gonna get him dead. Dermoth is in here. Try and blow him up, that doesn't work, that's fine. So I've got Gothamite that can just run in. I've got trolls now as well. Trolls are sufficient hero killers. The faction doesn't have a dedicated hero killer, as they do have um, trolls that do that job very well on their own. But you do need to pay attention to where they are at all times, because they can just very easily just get killed. And they are a big economic investment if you don't have the money for them. And where did they just throw down the plague? They didn't, they just threw it down a blight. Stop building the mountain trolls, that's a big economic investment. Just found the blight in my base, that's fine. We've got towers everywhere that should be destroying or killing everyone that comes in range. No exceptions, everyone will die. Hopefully not our own units, hopefully everyone else will die. But you never know. Soldiers from Rune have just arrived. I believe we did get the, um, yeah, the, 20, the 15 of Orcs, we just need to get level 5 Orc Horde, which is actually really hard to do unless you go for the Kirif Ungol units. We're going for them now. There goes Dermar, that's three more heroes dead for the enemy. Oh dear, if they had the Witch King, that would be a problem. I could throw Sauron in there and we just win instantly, like last time. But I'm not in any rush, actually. I'm in no rush to win this game. Last game, we just, kind of, we just got Sauron and then we just had no reason to think we'd lose because we didn't. We just won instantly. This time, I'm going to try to show off everything that Mordor can show off, so I don't have to do it. I don't really have to show off everything else again. You can have a maximum of three battalions of each kind of kind of Ungol units, and you can only get the Halberdiers if you lose a Sauron. Once again, they brought into the Beta's um, area. They got Marshal Office Force again. They've actually brought up use that kill off a building as a problem. Destroy that Pikeman unit immediately. Or summoning more uh, overseers. Unfortunately, we've only got one um, place where we can put our 
outposts. We can't actually get both the Witch King and Kamal without buying both from the same place, destroying one, getting the ring, getting the Nazgul from that one zone, and then getting the other one. So you can get the other, if that made sense. Basically, it's not worth trying to get all nine Nazgul on this map. It's fun to try, but it's not worth it. It's better to, in fact, just fully invest in something else. Which currently we are fully investing in our... Uh, what's the word? We're fully investing into our reinforcements. And our defensive powers. Keep our heroes alive. Keep our heroes alive. Let Bob not die. We don't do it at the expense of any of our other heroes. Once Godmog gets to level 5, we'll get an upgrade for him, or for Sauron even. We'll put him at level 6, and then we just need a few more upgrades to win. For one of those upgrades, we need to get Mountain Trolls. We need to enlist four trolls. Or three, or three trolls with um, armor. But yeah, we're going to get four trolls. Is that one of them, actually? Okay, Control Force, the very bottom. Right, more. And that's in the back. Troll in the back. We actually had a, a time we had no walks, that's actually sad. But yeah, they've got a, um, problem is they've, uh, they, they at some point have a siege unit, which we need to get rid of before it reaches the base. Yep, right there. Okay, everyone's focused that. They just avalanche my, avalanche mix and that everything is, oh no, the avalanche is there, so that's actually kept my orc hits recruiting. That's pretty hilarious, but half my army is currently frozen. Which is bad, because I want to get rid of that capital at all costs. We're about to get the reinforcements from her. We could just go for the Banner of the Red Eye, get all units to, um... Not all whole generate up to two fallen members, cool. Did not know actually did that as well. Sauron, Dwarf, Dark Swords on there. We'll just weaken them from... prevent them from doing anything. Reinforcements from Harad. We now get some cavalry as well, and I'm going to kill. And we've got some orcs that have finally come up to the catapult. does do a lot of damage, but it does, not, uh, does do enough to fill my purpose, which is to make it run away. Pay attention! Pay attention. They got all our units have been returned to us. We've got two units of Paradrim and a Muma Kill. But unfortunately, no level ups yet. But they soon will have level ups of their own. The pantry has reached its limits once again. <coughs> Sorry. I try to turn away from the. Um, what's the word? I try to turn away from the. Uh, the microphone when that happens, but unfortunately. I haven't got exactly much room to move out to. So if I do come into the microphone, I do apologise, but I'm just too out of energy to do anything about it. And yet we've actually built an army of not just basic orcs, but also elite Haradrim and Orcs. This is not a strategy I normally employ with Mordor, but again, on a small map like this, you don't have access to an outpost. You have to get a Kirifongo Barracks early if you want that extra le early level. So you can start doing more stuff. Keep this movement away from any pikemen. They are just like ordinary cavalry. They both get destroyed. Unfortunately, I've lost their charge trample, but they still have their basic trample. So, find an enemy unit, trample it. It's probably going to die. And look at that. Even Mornamoth has got absolutely flattened on his back like a pancake. And I'm going to turn around and try and do it again. But unfortunately, he's got a big wagon. That. Um, extra hexadecimal hexade wagon. He can't move around very well. Unfortunately. Uh, trolls, no, don't move. You're almost done. Your quest is almost complete. Get the last of the pantries. Spam out orcs. And yeah. While we currently look like we're weak, because when we level up Sauron, we'll just level up all our Nazgul and the, whip, the uh, mouth of Sauron, we're actually just getting stronger. Because once Sauron gets the power of past ages, which we're five power points away from currently, once we hit that point, we're just going to win. It's not as powerful as Ring Hero Sauron, where it's a guarantee we're going to win. But it is pretty close to just saying, okay, yeah, we're going to win. Just have it, Sauron's flames do more damage. 
brute enemy heroes in place. So if they try to escape me, they can't. Some leveled up to level 7 because we have the Godmog at level 5. Going to keep my Black Horrocks alive, if possible. And also because we now have four trolls, he leveled up again. I could just upgrade the trolls to... Oh, damn it. I lost Sauron. That is fine, because instead of having to re-recruit Sauron, Sauron will re-recruit himself after two minutes. Unfortunately, he does not do anything in this form. He just uh, says, oh yeah, he's the uh, embodiment of the evil, the mouth of Sauron, and the Nazgul will get stronger when his presence is greater. going to full retreat back into the base. No point in fighting a losing battle. Once Sauron regenerates, we're going to either put his power onto the, the defense banner, or if our trolls live long enough, we're going to upgrade the troll cage so that we can upgrade our trolls with more upgrades. Yeah, the biggest problem is, our, is currently surrounded by our bully orcs. Uh, Sauron's still got a minute to go. A little bit over a minute. They're sort of spamming orcs. There's not much else we can do. I'm going to have to throw the trolls in. There's no alternative here. If we don't throw the trolls in, we lose. Unfortunately, if I place the barracks like here, for example, we'd be in a better position to make more stuff. Shadow Lords with us. 
and he starts off straight. away at level 7 because of Sauron we could get the black Aurochs but unfortunately that doesn't give Sauron another level so I'm just currently trying to wait until I get an orc unit to level 5 which we're not actually far from I don't think if one of our units can kill a hero that would be great oh our trolls did it though Known as Siege Works at level 3. I'm not going to make a Siege Works, let's get it level 3. Command of Orc Call that has reached its maximum level. Those last two things are the most problematic to get. So I'm as close. I'll keep him out from the front line because I want to put him straight into the troll cage if I can. So our three trolls are still alive and they're doing. Mobile Blade on Autocast. Yep, Draglin is about to die. I always keep calling Draglin, I don't know why. Just fall back. It's better just to fall back than to try and beat down a Karnum Archer unit in battle. Unlike Arnor, which we can just constantly keep bullying the enemy uh, AI. With Mordor, you can't do as much bullying against Angmar. You have to accept you're not going to win until you actually get good stuff. <clears throat> the ring has fallen again, but unfortunately, if I knew the ring was going to fall here, I would send Sauron on a little expedition to gather the ring. Unfortunately, I did not, so we don't have Sauron in a position to take the ring, so I'm not going to bother. Our trolls have armor, although they haven't given Sauron the level up, so I'm going to give them all... Uh, the assault mace. And yeah, we want to actually start pushing out soon. I think. I think soon we have no choice but to try and push out. With the power of past ages, that would be it. Will be possible. Okay, so apparently upgrading trolls doesn't actually give the upgrade. Yeah, three trolls with troll armor, but we didn't actually upgrade Sauron. Yep, it's not done. I see three trolls with troll armor, but the upgrade has not gone into effect. That is annoying, because I could have used Power of Past Ages on that instead. I'm going to get Moloch, and then I'm going to get rid of this building. Moloch would be really good for cleaning up the enemy uh, units. Yeah, these trolls can easily clean up these units now as well. But unfortunately, trolls are temporary. Moloch is infinite. Although these trolls are really good at their job, massive AoE damage thanks to the upgrade we chose for them. Does not make them that good, unfortunately. Yeah, that Morgul Blink. Instead of making it straight away a Barrow White, we get a Lesser Wraith. And we need Minas Morgul to actually turn them into the enslaved souls or the wretched raves 
which is what we will be doing. We will be getting the Witch King, we will be getting Minas Morgul. But of course, to do that, we first need to actually get to that point. If the AI used Corpse Rain, that would really hurt my soul. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, we're almost at Power of Past Ages, and once we hit that point, there's no turning back. We have to start actually doing some damage, otherwise we're losing ability. We're losing our power. We're not abusing the power of the past ages at all. And that's exactly what we want to be doing. We want to be pushing out winning. We want to be win trading. Ugh. Ugh. And a bit of a build up there of Summit. It wasn't Summit good, whatever it was. That source is still alive, but we don't really care. Come on, we're so close to power of past ages. Archers behind. There we go. Almost. A few more clubs. There's a 30% greater area. Jeez, that 30% must be big. There we go, power of past ages. Sauron is now really strong. And can now solo almost any hero. Except for hero uh, fellow hero killers. We get a nice darkness on the map. Although we also get the darkness power. Don't question it. And he can also transform into three different forms. And it's either Lord of Gifts. The vamp his vampire form. Or the Lord of Werewolves. The vampire form is just a giant swarm of bats. Like a Nazgul on a fell beast, it's very weak to Archer Fire, but it's also the only way that it can hurt. Or like a spear throw from Erwin or Elmer. You can also throw down a. Instead of a little eruption, he actually summons a fire. A, pil a pillar of fire, and also can summon a fortress, Tolingorhoth. Which technically we could make our elite units from if I was to invest fully into that. But I'm thinking, with the darkness on the field, and they've not used Plague on me yet, now's the time to push in with everything we've got before some stuff goes wrong. Yep, this is a small pillar of fire we get. We can move it for what little movement it has, and it does deal pretty big damage over a small duration. So now if you want big units dealt with, you can deal with them now. But before, you couldn't. And also, Blade of Destiny has attacked get a chance to release the full power of his Blade of Destiny. Which command limit, that's fine. That means whenever we do more things, we'll get more orcs. And we actually save up now to get the Map of Sauron or even Kid of Fungal units. Because again, they cost no command points. Those are just free units for us. And look how big Sauron is in that form. He's basically Glorfindel, but evil. Did we lose a troll? Oh no, we lost a troll. That sucks. Yeah, that's the version of Sauron we didn't get to show off last time because we got the ring super early. Which I still love. But yeah, I want to be using influence on Sauron on a building, and that's going to be the outpost building. So push through, leave none alive, etc, etc. Let's win this already. Oh, God. Actually, sieging the enemy base, we're going to need some siege equipment. So we're probably going to want to get rid of this. Get Moloch and then so on and so forth. But instead, we're going to capture the outpost. Make a unit of Morgul Vanguard, just so we get the extra upgrade. So it's Saron's level 10. And then we're going to power past stages. So all our lesser shades that we're getting become fully fledged wretched wraiths which are terrifying foes on the battlefield you do not want to find a, a wretched wraith in battle uh lost unit of archers i'll get them back i guess purchase banner carriers oh, we can uh, might as well uh, enlist the reinforcements in the room you can actually Use this if your command point never falls below the required cap. You can use the reinforcement ability endlessly 
to keep getting more triggers of the actual ability until it finally triggers. They just used Avalanche on my base. They did a bit of damage. They're going to stop me from getting money for a while, but that's fine because they just used a power that does nothing to me in the long run. Let's watch out for Sauron and Gothmog so they don't die. Our troll layer is affected, unfortunately. We have banner carriers now. Gothmog's now level 10. Nearby also siege weapon gain attack damage and suffer only 25% damage from archers and siege weapons. Now that is a OP level 10 ability. That, that thing is doing not that siege equipment there, doing nothing. I'm actually going to turn Gorfower. Actually, not going to turn Gorfower because if I turn Gorfower, then I can't use the influence of Sauron at the right time. I wish I could heal my troll because it just died. Get the Dark Marshal in there, because he's got full health. Shadow Lord, whichever one he is. Uh, yeah, get the Dark Marshal. Archers behind. Don't let them get away. Let's have a few units distract them. We've got the... Um, did you get Easterlings? Yeah, we did. They still haven't been upgraded, actually. I should probably do that next. Oh, they built that outpost up. Of course they did. Of course they're going to build it up. Our best chance of destroying that is to actually go Banners of the Red Eye. Upgrade all my troops. Replenish troops. And just push straight in. That's my best chance. Because the Mimikill is on the way. And once the Mimikill hits point... That base is going to fall. <coughs> Ugh, this base is going to fall nice and easy now. Form Rex Magnus. Blade of Destiny. Now whenever he hits that Blade of Destiny trick, I think he knocks back everyone in range. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm just standing in here. Like every third base. Yeah, there we go. Knocks back all enemies in the area. It's not as good as like Blinding Squall for... Um, Who's it? Uh, Celeborn. But it does happen every, basically every third basic attack. Which is really good. Pillar of Flame, I don't believe there's any damage to buildings. Oh no, that's, recept that's a deceptively good amount. Who needs my will? Who needs my will? I'll keep these guys in front. To protect against any nonsense. Another lesser white. We'll soon be able to turn you, my dears. My pretties. A lot of orcs. Get them pushing in because we don't have our reinforcements from Harad yet. We need 300 command points free. Which currently we're making too many orcs. Not getting enough dead. Okay, Gollum is now just give. This is the third time Gollum's going to die and he's going to make Gorfower great. So I said before I get. OP Gorfowl. Let's make him the Lord of Werewolves. Let's show off his werewolf form. I love the werewolf form so much. You can't hide my own possession from me. Constantly draining health. Tramples enemies before being slowed. Heavy damage is an enemy hero and briefly slows their attack move. And then howls and increases damage by, and damage on nearby werewolves briefly by 50%. Come on, Sauron. Pick up... Oh, you can't pick up the ring if you're in a different form. Oh, dear. Uh, okay, so we're not going to show off... Um, we're not going to get Sauron uh, OP form yet. We're showing off the werewolf form right now, so... Have a look. Yeah, look at these orcs. Now, for Sauron's here, so that means that should be another level for Gorfower. It should be, right? Critter ring wraith. Oh no, the map of sounds not a, a part of this anymore. Damn it. Ah. All the grey. It's okay. We've got rid of this now. We can build Minas Morgul and then we can eventually... Um, in fact, will we get the ring in time? We might be able to get the ring in time. So that's a good thing as well. Yeah, see what they say about that. Everyone off your horses and so forth.
Oh, Drowglin. Oh, no. Fall away from the place that's going to break the game. I don't want the game to break yet. Get his deadliest servant so we can upgrade our Nazgul. Let's get the uh, the dark versions of them, their true forms. The Dark Marshal and the Shadow Lord. Oh, they just trapped me in a tornado in a plague. That's my entire army dead. That's my entire army dead right there. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh dear. At, least I get, at least I get my Haradrim now. So I get some fast reinforcements. Yeah, I can't build up here until that catapult is gone. For some, that's your job. Get rid of this catapult. Uh, both of you make sure Mobile Blade on quick cast. Gorf, I'll just keep going. Ignore all distractions. You can trample down an entire unit in one go. Just ignore them all. Yeah, Gorfar heals from every hit, so he should pretty much be always at full health. He's very much like Dane, Ring Hero Dane. But he's also faster, more agile, and can just destroy things like this. And he can trample it, but it's certain. Do you trample? Yeah, he tramples. So he's basically a form of cavalry as well, so keep him away from pikes. Got more full back. Let's start building uh, Minas Morgul. And then once Sauron transforms, the ring is gone. Oh, no. Okay, no no ring hero Sauron yet. Although we are going to show off the uh, Wretched Braves, which I haven't actually showed off for, I think, three years now. Because they are so hard to get. Now, these Braves here, before they disappear, we're going to turn them into Dark Shades that we can use. Yep, each one can now be turned into an enslaved. We can enslave the souls, make them into a mortal shadow. These used to be called Wretched Wraiths, I think. Oh, we have to wait till the building's actually fully completed, so we can't actually get them yet. And that's fine. We've got more. <coughs> oh, again, sorry. For those of you that don't know, feeling a little bit ill. Not feeling too hot. Ugh. Hopefully I'll feel better soon, but... As of this moment right now, I'm very ill. Which is why this game will probably be the last game of the day. Yeah, Saren has used his influence on this building, so... What Minas Morgul? At least I think it's Minas Morgul. Did I mess up? Um, Forest of Minas Morgul. Ghost of the Shadow Realm may now be enslaved. Yeah. And that's these things here. Once Minas Morgul's finished, which is going to be in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Boom. Enslave the soul. And these boys do not play. Bondage of the Raves. The life of the Morgul Shadow is bound to the will of the Ring Raves. Any life the life the Morgul Shadow loses will be transferred to nearby Nazgul. And they have 2,000 health. That's a third of the health of Gothmog. So if you have some Morgul Shadows dying, just turn them into bloody... To keep them near your Ring Wraiths and they'll heal all Ring Wraiths. I, I don't think it mentions that, but it is all Ring Wraiths. Heal for a percentage of the damage that um, the Morgul Shadows do. And Na the Nazgul make these Morgul Shadows. So having Minas Morgul is perhaps one of the best upgrades you can get. When you, you get all your, when you can actually supply all your Nazgul on the field. Obviously, this large army not going to last. It will die soon. If not soon by my hand, then by the enemy's hand. But obviously, we can also still get these Orc Habadiers as well. So show off the, um, the basically the cavalry slash hero killer version of Sauron, bleeding enemies, and. Those obliterating all life. Obviously, keep away from pikemen. Oh dear, that was uh, a little sicky burp. I might need to uh, end this game quicker than I would like. His other form, the uh, Lord of Vamp, the Vampires, turns him into a swarm of clouds, or of bats even. 
which swoop down and attack anything in range. Although I believe, well, even though in that form when he swoops down like a Nazgul, he doesn't actually take and he can't actually take any damage. So he's simply, he has the same composition as like the Krebine or the Cave Bats of um, of who's it? Um, the Mr. Mi Mountain's Vanilla. So only archers can actually damage them or massive AOE attacks. We'll test this now. So I can't currently get Anatar. So yeah, Gorfar and his vampires slowly drain the, uh, the vicinity of all of all nearby enemies. You don't actually target enemies; they just slowly take damage. It's like the fire form of Go of this form of Gorfar, but he also gets other abilities. Some of the some of the vampires, enemy units cause less damage, but underneath the swarm. So it's very similar to say um, what the um, I forget what the, the ship was called. But yeah, basically he makes an area um, where no one can actually be hurt. And in fact, if we put these vampires near the siege unit, it should actually slowly die. But yeah, archers can shoot down Gorfauer, but he will actually drain their life. Then they can fly faster for a time. And then vampires leave the vicinity of nearby enemies are destroying their own. So a quick life suck. I don't know if that was actually my units killing them or just them dying to the grand suck of Gorfauer, but either way, I enjoyed it. And yeah, the more the clo the more you stay with the um, a siege unit as this form of Gorfauer, you will slowly drain its essence until it is dried out. Let's test it against these units here. So yeah, right here, I'm going to stand right here. It should be draining the life from these um, units. And yep, look at, look at that damage. It's a bit finicky to start with. But once you get it down, it is quite fun. But obviously, yeah, don't do it on its own. Because it. this is the scout form of Sauron. This is escape form. You don't use it to um, be amazing in combat. That's his werewolf form. Also, because you get this at basically level one of the uh, golf hour. So, I've planted all my troops. Still haven't got the reinforcements from Harad I summoned earlier in the game, so we'll get them soon. Also, if you didn't know, Mordor's Forces is the only force that can actually get um, these expansions now. They're the only faction that can do that. Uh, I'm actually going to send golf hour back. Here. He'll be out of combat for a while, but I want to use influence of Sauron on the barracks here so I can get more orcs into the fray. Meanwhile, I'll let my orcs die on their own. Not my heroes, though. My heroes I like to keep alive. Because, yeah, my command point cap currently is a bit... Uh, a bit all over the place. I want to bring it down a bit. So, yeah, let Gorfara return. By the time that timer goes down, he can... Attack again, just got a deadly long legs in front of the screen. So I'm going to the face cam, because otherwise people would see me having to kill a poor defenseless insect. Oh yeah, Malfa Sarah, if you didn't know, he has a bunch of abilities. He's got he's one of the only heroes that has two palantirs as the as their beginning thing. So words of delusion. Enemy is in the area lose half their sight. Doubt. Uh, furthermore, cavalry, uh, reduce the speed of enemy units. Words of misery. Target enemy hero deals half damage for the duration of the ability, which is pretty long. Okay, Gorfau's back. You actually have to point and click where you want him to go back down, which is fine. Okay, I say we've suffered enough casualties. Actually, no, we haven't. I want to get the Morgul Knights as well, so... Kill my Orcs. Kill them. No, I mean, kill my Orcs. Kill them all. <laughs> yeah, look how many of these Morgul Shadows we've actually accumulated. And these, again, cost no... And first cost no command points. Let's just look at the command points. Currently, 1433. Okay, I think they might be 10 command points each. Avalanche my base again, doesn't matter, because everything survived, and it will be back long before the Avalanche has returned. So look how much we managed to push, we managed to push into the enemy base, and we're just going to keep pushing. 
because I want my army to die. Yeah, yeah, each of these Mogul Shadows is basically the equivalent of a Barrow White for its command points. If they have, um, they worth 10 command points each. Oh, that's a... There we go, Corpse Rain. They can fall back now. Maybe leave a few Orcs. Just leave, just leave all our ordinary Orcs to fight. <laughs> let's leave our entire army to deal with this. They're no, longer command, they're no longer command group uh, one. They're command group two. Everything else, our main units, can carry on moving away. We're going to start getting the elites. So, what makes the Minas Morgul units better than the uh, ordinary orcs? Nothing. They're exactly the same. The only difference is the Minas Morgul orcs have extra armor and immunity to fear because they're basically the best of the best for... Um, for Mordor, at least in Minas Morgul, but then Dogledore orcs have poison. So if you're against a lot of the um, low health units and just want more killing potential to help win, then going for um, Minas Morgul or Kirifungo is actually better. And yet that plague's going to kill all our orcs, which is fine because that's what I want it to do. Just watch our command points drop from 1,000. Down to about 500. Yep, our Muma kill has arrived. Weapons. Look at all these Mogul Shadows. We've got six of them. I want to get the Mogul Vanguard, the Knights of Minas Mogul even. And also the Witch King, useful as always. The Witch King actually has three different Palantirs of powers, depending on what form he's in. Although to be fair, there's not much difference. Whichever form you're in. Yep, we've now got uh, more Vanguard. Have them go in. Get rid of this. And rebuild it as the Force of the Double Door so we can get our other troops. Will not go unpunished. Gonna let all our knights go in. What the Morgul Vanguard can do, I'm going to keep calling the Morgul Vanguard, I'm sorry. The Knights of Minas Morgul lose less momentum when they trample enemies, so they're great at charging. And also, when they hit level 6, the Knights of Minas Morgul will return as spirits. So, basically, they, instead, of, instead of just letting them die, level them up to level 6. Potentially, with, a, with having an ally that can heal them up to a certain point, get them up to a certain level quickly. And once, then once they hit that level... They become immensely more powerful in the fact that they then have access to... Oh yeah, by the way, Gorbag. You can get him. I typically don't. He's not that good anymore. Used to be better when you can cheese him to have infinite uh, Shagrats, but since you can't do that anymore, don't do it. I don't typically do it anyway. I find no value in it. Oh yeah, they've got the original quotes of the map of Sarah from Vanilla. Always a fun time. Yeah, the biggest thing that people seem to struggle with with Mordor is the fact they have so much diversity. They're the faction that has the most options, but also has... Everything's good. There's there's very few traps, what I, use, what I normally call them, in the faction of Mordor, because everything is great. As long as you level up Sauron fast enough, you'll have fun doing anything. Yep, we've now got five more Nazgul. All we need now is the last of them, Kamul. We're also going to get the Castellans of Dogledore, because I love the Castellans. They're so fun. So fun. fun. Funnest unit in the game. But no, they're quite strong too. That, make, that, that, that does uh, sway my vote to a certain point. Yeah. Also, these knights level up super quick. So you actually get their moral shadows really easily early from them if you let them die leave one alive and then come back and do the same thing again and also they heal oh we've got golem again golem's in our sights level five from just trampling a few units of khan doom and again this is why you don't um this is why morgul vanguard is such a strong unit for uh, mordor yes they're super expensive but if you know what you're doing it's just an easy way to get um, 
an, a victory against an enemy that doesn't expect things. There we go, we got Sauron. We can now win. Just by, just, just by walking in, we can win. And I wish that was a joke, but it's not. Sauron is that strong. Simply walking him into an enemy base is enough to destroy everything. Oh, yeah, Touch of Darkness, uh, Black Breath is a terrible poison, which it has got to once activated all foes. It's basically Plague, but instead of a power, it's a uh, hero ability. Really good for... Yeah, this isn't... This is, the, the, none of these are ordinary orc scum. This is all elite units. You prob you'll probably never see me going a full elite Mordor build ever again. Because it takes so much time to get to this point. But... I've invested in to getting to this part in the game. But because I'm feeling so exhausted, I'm not going to talk too much about it. Basically, Morgul Vanguard. Allow them to die, but leave one alive so you can then go back. They will turn into Morgul Shadows. Those Morgul Shadows, well, they'll, they'll turn to Lesser Whites. Those Lesser Whites can then be turned into Morgul Shadows if you have um, got the upgrade for, um, for Thingy. From uh, Sauron on the uh, Minas Morgul. Maybe I'll toll and go half with him. Well, you're one of the two factions that can build a fortress right in front of the enemy base. And for this, all you need is your hip. All you need is your. Oh, I forget. You need you need your you need your tid, uh, your ten power point power. Before we walk in, let's just burn everything. Everyone, banner carriers, get our reinforcements. Yeah, we never even used our abilities to upgrade the levels on some of our buildings. Normally, uh, that is the first thing I always go for. This game didn't need to do it. We just had no reason to have to push for that kind of early thing. And yeah, if we were going for a full Mordor Orc spam, we would not get through this. But we have full elite Orcs, Orakai, Easterlings, a Muma kill. We can take down this base without even breaking a sweat. We've got all our heroes... Fully maxed out, except for uh, Moloch. I normally, I normally never get Moloch. He's too, he's too hard to get. Look at that. Mortal Sorcery is a lightning sword on steroids and green. Evil Eye, which is really good at killing heroes, by the way. If you didn't know. Sauron just seems to be immune to the poison being brought out from everything around him. And now it's going to consume in darkness. That unit of elite uh, Kandum units. This elite Kandum unit is just going to die now. You cannot hide. We even knocked back our own guy. Oh, no, no, that was consuming darkness. But yeah, one hit. And that killed the, some of the black guard that were hit in the initial impact. But yeah, the plague from, from, that, from the, um, the force upgrade is killing us. But the second this... Fortress goes down, so does the upgrade. I'm fairly certain. Oh no, we're still just getting poisoned. Okay. So yeah, normal orcs, we would have not, we not, we would not have even gone through this here. We'd have to build siege to get through, but we didn't have to. We just won. Nice and easy.